Today I'm going to be talking about the Lynx 4 by Alps Mountaineering. Start off, this is a four person tent that is rated for three seasons and I'm going to be doing this review today because there's not a whole lot of information on this tent and it's really a shame because it's a budget or pretty budget four person tent that seems to be lightweight or pretty lightweight and pretty effective overall. So let's take a look at this thing, talk about the inside square footage or what it actually looks like in reality, talk about the vestibules and all that fun stuff. Let's jump into it. So to start off this uh, review, the best thing to do is to actually take a look on the inside. So let's actually take a look at what it looks like for real on the inside. So first off, we start off with this vestibule. Now, this is half open, so this is only half the size of the vestibule, but I have the other vestibule fully closed, so I'll give you guys an idea of how much coverage that is. Now, for this camping trip, I put a heavy emphasis on cameras and, you know, video shooting equipment, so you have, see, a DJI Phantom, Phantom drone with a Hero 4 on it and its controller, uh, boots, a saw and a nice little pot so you guys can see that that's moderately full um, i usually put more stuff in this vestibule but there is actually a pretty good size to it now this is it fully stretched out so there's really not a whole lot of other space so let's jump on jump on into the inside of the tent so this is the inside of the tent now keep in mind that the vestibules are part of the rain fly which is the thing covering this but this is the overall size of it kind of giving you guys a pretty good perspective or trying to. There is a double sleeping bag here with a wool blanket underneath that, some pine boughs underneath that, some blankets, a hoodie, stuff like that there, um, water, meds, stuff, life stuff. But you guys can see an overall pretty good idea of the square footage or in action square footage. I'm gonna roll in the actual size of this for square feet uh, in the video, but when you look at a four person tent it always looks really large like they say there's a lot of square footage to it but this is what it ends up looking like in all reality and for me in my opinion a four person tent is really just a cozy two person tent like i said um you guys can see here with the double sleeping bag here and the wool blanket that we sleep with my wife and i um you can see that that basically covers up nearly the entire footprint. We just have some side room for storage, as you guys can see, like, uh, pack there. And there's some more storage, you know, in the four different corners. So there is some room for storage. But for the most part, it gets pretty filled pretty fast. Okay, guys, so now you can see this is the side of the vestibule that I have fully closed. And this is how it works. There's a double zipper uh, that just runs down the middle of it pretty typical but as you guys can see this is what it looks like a full vestibule if you have them fully closed now this backpack is a 4,000 uh, cubic inch backpack so it's no small fish and it's overall pretty big backpack but as you can see it takes up floor space wise about full half of the vestibule with a little bit of a corner right there still under protection so these aren't huge vestibules but they are certainly pretty sizable in comparison to other tents i do also want to say that the out the exterior uh wind or sorry rain fly does have nice vents here and it does also have windows so that you can have some visibility through the tent even when the rain fly is up what i found is these vents do work pretty well at keeping moisture out so overall the build quality seems to be pretty durable as you guys can see here it does have really good about keeping mosquitoes out it does have a really good no seam net uh, that does keep a lot of bugs out so long as you keep it zipped and so it does a good job at that. It also has a really nice um, kind of bucket to it. And this helps and it goes over the edge. So it helps or it goes over um, the floor space. So your floor space ends right about here. This goes up. So if you are caught out in a rainstorm, which I have tested this in the rain a little bit, I've noticed no moisture whatsoever. Obviously that bucket really helps with keeping rain out. 
Like I said, the build quality seems to be pretty good. I think what's most impressive for a four person or a cozy two person tent is the packability. This thing with its tent pegs, as you guys can see there, and that one's kind of hidden, but uh, the tent pegs with all the smaller stakes like these, uh, the rain fly, the actual body of the tent itself only comes in around four pounds, just over four pounds. So you're talking a four person, like I said, cozy two person for four pounds. And honestly, the pack size, which I'll show here, uh, is very minimal for, like I said, the size of tent you get. Uh, yeah. So that is ultimately all I have to say about this tent, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.